Hello, hello. I wanted to make a quick Radiohead tier list because I'm in the middle of reading quite a few books at the moment, so I want to do reviews of those when I'm done. But I still want to put something on the channel, so I figured, yeah, fuck it. Let's uh, let's let's talk about a band that I know possibly better than any other. Um, they were my favourite band growing up. Um, I don't listen to them too much nowadays, but uh, deep beneath the surface, the strong opinions are still there from high school. <laughs> God. Um, but yes, so uh, also the, they're a very kind of simple band to do a tier, a tier list video for because they don't have like 32 albums. Uh, anyway, so yes, I'll start with um, Pablo Honey, obviously. I think that's going to go in D. Um, one thing that I will say consistently with Radiohead is that no matter what you say, or no, no matter what opinion you state about a song or album negatively, there will be fans who say things like, That's secretly the best song ever. Um, I want that played at my funeral times 15. And, and, and the fact that you can't see the intrinsic inherent beauty in a song like Thinking of You is a testament to your, your incompetence, your anti-intellectualism, and uh, you're a stain on the Radiohead fan base kind of thing like <laughs> yes so i will accept that pablo honey will have some defenders but it is it's the weakest album which one would you say um it does have a quite quite a few good songs in it, it has uh you uh blow out and creep um which is a banger <laughs> it has Ever everybody can play guitar which is famous for the mtv beach house performance in which uh, tom almost dies um basically if you haven't seen it uh tom screams jumps into the MTV swimming pool, and then in the process of getting out, almost grabs a microphone wire, and uh, that could have been the end of the band right there, which, uh, yeah, they would be remembered <laughs> quite a fair bit differently, so let's be glad that, that didn't happen, but uh, yeah, it has its defenders, but it's, yeah, it's just it's just their weakest. Um, they hadn't really de developed their confidence as a band yet, and you could tell because it sounds, it's the radio album that sounds most like the other bands that were around at the time. I mean, it's like that in the Benz. Speaking of the Benz, I'm going to put the Benz in... Um, ooh, I'm going to probably put it in C. Um, I think it's I think it's really good. I think for a lot of bands, this would be their best album. Um, without a single shot of... I mean, if Radiohead break up after the Benz, I think they are still remembered as one of the best acts of the 90s, just based off this album alone. Um, for me, it's kind of a prelude to things to come. It has a few songs I don't like, such as... Um, Bones, Sulk, um, I don't think High and Dry. I don't. I don't like High and Dry. Um, so High and Dry was actually um, only included because the record label <laughs> wanted it included because they need they needed a bet they needed a radio single. Um, but yeah, it, it has some of Ray Ray to his best songs. Um, well, it has one of Radio's best songs in uh, Street Spirit Fade Out, and I really like the title track, The Benz. I think that's um, amazing. Um, but yeah, honestly, um, yeah, for any other band, this would be a great achievement. But for Benz, it's kind of this, just a harbinger of things to come. That makes it sound negative, but you know what I mean. Um, I think that, yeah, Black Star is great, and yeah, just a really good album. Um, next up is OK Computer. Boom. S tier. Sometimes considered the best album of all time. I wouldn't go that far. I don't think it... I think it's the most... I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's the... It's it's the most best, best album of all time in, in the list. It's, um... It's not my favorite. Uh, I think I don't. I don't really like electioneering. I mean, like Airbag and the Tourist are like they're good songs, but I kind of feel like um, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have the personal connection for me um, that that it would need to have for it to be the best album of all time for me. But yeah, still, it's still absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, what is that to say about OK Computer? You can everyone in their mum, <laughs> everyone in their mum loves this album. So, um, next up is Kid A, I'm going to put an S, now, oof, actually I'm, I'm going to do something here, S, plus, <laughs> yeah, I think Kid A is better than Oka Computer, um, for me, as it might be, I mean, it's in my top 5 best albums of all time, which Oka Computer isn't. Uh, I think it is a statement. It's amazing. I think it's perfectly structured. I, there's not really a single like. I don't know. 
Because today I used to listen to this album every single night before I I went to bed, and I do not regret a single moment. I used to listen to it when, when I got off. I used to today I used to listen to religiously, religiously. So I, I can only put this in S plus. <laughs> um, yeah, it's amazing. Um, what does it say about today? You know, got everything in its right place. Um, how to disappear completely. Um, bloody, uh, I don't know, just the, there isn't a single bad song. I mean, even the songs like that don't get as much attention, like Optimistic or In Limbo or... God, I really like Tree Fingers, what it is. Like, I think it's the perfect... <laughs> Tree Fingers could have not come at a better point in the album. I, I think it splits the album so well into halves and... Yeah. It's an album. I would... I don't know if I get married to it, but I would... I for sure have it as like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's probably the album that I would think about while I was married to another album. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah, classic. Um, next up is Amnesiac. Uh, oof. Do I put Amnesiac above the Benz? That's a question. I don't know if I do. I mean, I think Amnesiac does have high highs with um, uh, you and Who's Army, Life in a Glass House. I really like Pat Like this. See, Amnesiac is very. Um, it's a very prickly album. I, I think it's an album that, uh, more than anything, shows Radiohead that it's most experimental. I don't think that it is much more than Kid A B sides, but I think that I I think it didn't need to be. A, I think it's still great as that. And one thing that I will not understand about Radiohead till the day I die is is why they just didn't say this is Kid A bits like if it's recorded in the same sessions as Kid A and it doesn't make it onto Kid A, you can't retrofit an album onto it. At least. I don't know. It seems to me like um, like it's just B sides, but it's, it's fine because they're amazing. And uh, and yeah, it's it just it does have a few weaker moments. It has um, I I want to like dollars and cents a lot more than I like dollars and cents, and I want to throw Morning Bell Amnesiac into a fire. Without a single doubt in my mind, I hate that song. It might be my least favorite Radiohead song. I mean, I don't know if it's. Yeah, I can count. I mean, I've. I. Morning Bell Amnesiac is like it's like a cold shower. It's it's horrendous. Just the sound of it. Just the start of it. It, it's like the audio equivalent of nails on a blackboard. And like the nails are also made out of polystyrene. <laughs> Just the moment it starts, I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, maybe that's irrational. Who knows? Still, still really good though. I mean, I might, I might move it back down to see actually. Yeah, I might swap these. <laughs> um, next up is Hail to the Feast. Um, yeah, where do I put Hail to the Feast? Nah, we we'll see. Uh, Hail to the Feast is was an album that I spent a good portion of my teenage years defending as. You know, it's. It's secretly Radiohead's best album. You know, it's it's actually a masterpiece that was underappreciated by critics. No, it, I mean, it, it wasn't. The album's undercooked. It was recorded in two weeks, and which is fair, because recording's stressful, and they wanted to do it quickly, but I just think that a lot of the songs are undercooked. Um, Back Drifts, Punch Up at a Wedding, Sail to the Moon, they're all good songs, but... Ugh, man, the gloaming. The gloaming! <laughs> if... If the gloaming had the bass line on the studio version that it has on the um, live version, then 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 I think it 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 might be here. But uh, as it is, I can't do it. God, scatter brain. I mean, it, this album does have what you know some of Ray Ray Trey's best songs. You know, it's got there there. It's got um, I really like Two for Particular Five. I really like um, A Wolf at the Door. I think if this whole album was a wolf at the door times 14 it would be in s plus <laughs> plus but uh but at the moment it's uh it's probably inconsistent um people talk about it being the beatles white album but i think the white album is better so yeah sorry being like the beatles white album but yeah uh in rainbows it's gonna go a because it is it is amazing it's it is really the band at the kind of the peak of its i don't know i don't know if peak of the powers is, is the right term but like it was such a confident, fresh, alive band. I mean, as much as I do, I adore Oak Computer and Kid A. They're a band. <laughs> Sometimes that they can feel like they don't 
I mean, that's their vibe, that's their sound, that's their radio, they, they, they got famous, but in Rainbows is like, it is, it is for sure the radio album I would invite to parties and um, show to all my friends and I don't know. I think the reason why it isn't in kind of this, this category is because I don't, I don't think the album ends well. Um, I don't really like House of Cards, I don't really like videotape. I think I would like videotape more if the 2006 live version wasn't so good. <laughs> why did they remove the drum track? Why did they why did they just cut the structure of the song? Like it used to be this incredibly cathartic building experience, but okay, I understand conceptually within the album, you know, it's the way that they did it kind of makes you think about death, but I think that the version that I would prefer personally was the kind of more driving version. I, I think that that would have been an extraordinary I think it's the difference between a climax and a coda. I think the videotape on In Rainbows is more of a coda. I mean, it could have been oh, so good though, so good. Um, but yeah, um, nude's great. Fifteen steps great. Body snatches is great, dude. Like the first half of the album is just, it's just amazing. And yeah, I, I think Body Snatches at times it's my favorite Radiohead song. I think the, the sort of, I don't know if it's a bridge or whatever it is, where he goes, you know, is there like going out for you? Is that, you know, is the 21st century? All, all, all that stuff is... <laughs> Top notch, 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, next up is King Limbs. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that here, because um, I think the King of Limbs is an experiment. I don't think it's a successful experiment. And I think that... I mean, I became a Radiohead fan just after the King of Limbs, Limbs came out and everyone was bending over backwards to praise it, you know, saying that Little by Little and Feral and stuff like that were a masterpiece. I don't think that's true. I think it does have good songs. I really like um, Bloom, I really like Load, Flower, and I really like Separator, but those are the songs I really, I only really listen to it daily. I think it's just disappointing. I think if it comes out 10 years earlier, it's a masterpiece. I know single doubt in my mind, but it just felt, um, Disappointing. I mean, the album's only like what twenty-seven minutes, half an hour, something like that. Like, <laughs> um, when it came out, there was a kind of conspiracy theory that there was actually a secret second half of the album that was due to come out very soon, and that we, we were all going to see it and it was all going to blow us away. And the radio fans connected all these dots and talked about ARGs and all that. Now, but like, the fact that the, that the album, the album encouraged <laughs> that kind of uh, thinking is a testament to uh, to kind of the disappointment that it was. Yeah, it's all right, but I just, I, I would just never, I just never go back to it. I just need songs from it, but no. Um, and oh, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull. Ooh, I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Really good. It is a, it is a singular block of Radiohead sad, divorcey goodness, and you could not go wrong with that. I think it is a profoundly. Um, touching album. Um, I kind of, the, the major kind of knocks I have against it are just sort of small things, like I don't, I don't really like the guitar solo at the end of, um, uh, what is it? Ah, I'll come back in a minute. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just, for me, because I, I don't know, I, I, I haven't been able to listen to it in the variety of situations I've been able to listen to other radio albums. For me, it is a kind of a, a monolith. It is a, I don't know. I think it's really good, um, but I don't like Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy, and um, fuck, what's that song? Shit. <laughs> Let me Google it quickly. it I it's been a while but like so I was 16 when it came out so I was like a kind of peak radiohead fandom and I for some reason I remember the identical live version being a fair bit better than, than the one that came out and I I don't really like the ending it comes along with the studio version of the song um, I think Tinker Taylor sort of by disappointing and I think that I don't know it could have used more songs like full stop um, <laughs> in the present tense, um, but obviously it also has True Love Waits, which is a beautiful, beautiful song, and I think 
if the si if a situation were to arise where a moon trip pool was the last radio album i think it would be the perfect way to end the catalog considering that the song has history dating back god 20 years just mm, really good <laughs> uh i i sort of yeah it's just sort of small things i have like i wish the ending of burn the witch went on longer um i wish that i don't know i wish that the numbers was was a bit more nah, i'm i'm gonna move it down a little bit I feel like on a song by song basis, what I would put here. I think on a song song as an album basis, as an album, it's an A. But in terms of like how many of the songs I I go back and individually listen to, it's probably a C. So, but yeah, so that was a that was a radio tier list, and uh, and yeah, <laughs> I love more book review content coming out. I just I just wanted to kind of quickly get get this out of the way, and uh, yeah. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Um, yeah, let let us know, and uh, have a uh, have a fantastic day.